Hey, what's up, y'all? So in the last video, we converted an arbitrary number and some base into its equivalent in base 10. And we did this using the radix formula. So if I gave you a number, say 110 and base 2, we could convert that into 6 and base 10. So we know how to go from some arbitrary base and convert it into base 10. Now in computer, in computer science or computer engineering, we generally only care about one of these cases, and that's when we want to convert some number in base 2 into some number in base or its equivalent form in base 10. So we can do this using the radex formula. Let's say, however, that we want to convert uh, a base 10 number into base 2. You know, how do we do that? And there exist some methods that work between to create this bridge. So the first method we're going to learn about is the 2 divide by method. So 2 divide by method. So let's say we're given a number, say, uh, let's say 37 in base 10, and we need to convert that into its equivalent form in base 2. So the 2 divide by method, all we do is we take 2, and we divide by the number 37, which is 1, this is just long division, 2, 17, which is 8, 16, 1, so we end up with a remainder of 1, and then we take 18, and we bring it down here, 9, 18, 0, which is a remainder of 0, and then we take the 9, and we bring it down here, and we end up with 2 goes into 9, four times eight one remainder of one and then we take the four we bring it down here two goes into four two times remainder of zero take the two bring it down here two goes into two one times with a remainder of zero bring the one down two goes into one zero times and zero so we end up with a remainder of one and all you do is you read this is all you do now you read upwards and you take the remainders and you write them down. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 1. So this number in base 2 is equal to our original base 10 number 37. And we can check this by converting this number into radex formula and uh, or this num yeah this number into radex formula and converting into base ten. So let's do that. Let's figure out what one zero zero one zero one in base two is equal to in base ten. So we can go one zero zero one zero one, find our radex point. This is what we did in the last video and find the place values and put it in the radix form so we do we start from the left go right start with this number one one times our base two times our place five we do that for each digit uh, we can ignore the zeros here so we do one times two squared and then the last one is one times two to the zero and we can figure out what that equals to. That's 2 to the 5th, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, plus 4, plus 1, which is 37 in base 10. So we just checked our solution. We just checked that this is indeed equal to 37. So that's one, one um, method. But let's say we have a decimal number. Let's say we have 0.75. How do we convert 0.75 in base 10 into its equivalent in base 2? And we can use the multiply by 2 method to convert a decimal number, a uh, 
a rather a decimal number with a fraction, uh, 0 0.75, into its equivalent binary number. So we'll take 0 0.75, and you multiply 0 0.75 by 2. So 0 0.75 times 2 is 1.5. And now we only take the part that doesn't have a 1 in front of it, and we move it over here. And we do 0 0.5 times 2, and we end up with 1.0. And now that we have 1.0 and there is no longer a fraction part, we're actually done. And we read down. Unlike divide by 2 where we read up, we read down, and we're going to read this column. And it's all going to be behind a decimal, so this one's 0.11. So 0.11 in base 2 is equal to 0.75 in base 10. And we can check that like we did in the last problem. We'll do 0.11, our radix point being point, and we'll take the place values. So this would be negative 1, negative 2. So 1 times uh, our base, 2, negative 1, 2 to the negative first for our place, plus 1 times 2 to the negative 2. And we get equals to 1 half plus 1 over 4 which is equal to 4 over 8 plus 2 over 8 or 6 eighths and if we check out what 6 eighths is equal to we know that with a calculator we can see that uh, 6 eighths is 0.75 so that's the multiply by 2 method so what if we have a mixed one? Let's say we have a, um, let's do, how about 21.25 and base 10 is equal to what and base 2? How do we do a number that has both <coughs> a fraction and a whole number? Well, we just break it up through the radix points. We say, you know, this part, we'll use the uh, divide by 2 method, or 2 divide by. And then this part, we'll use the multiply by 2 method. And then we're going to combine them in the end. So let's do, you know, let's do the first part. We'll do 21. So 2 goes, start out with 2 goes into 21. 2 goes into 21 10 times. Uh, we end up with 21, remainder of 1. 2 goes into 10 5 times, remainder of 0. 2 goes into 5. 2 times, remainder of 1, 2 goes into 2, 1 times, remainder of 0, and then finally 2 goes into 1, 0 times, remainder of 1. And we read upwards, up. Remember, that's important for the divide by 2. So we read that up, and we get 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Right? And now we do the multiply by 2 method for the 0.25. So we take 0.25, multiply that by 2, and we end up with 0 0.50, 0 0.50. And we are going to ignore this, the le left side of the radix point or the decimal. And we're only going to take this value and bring it over here. Multiply that by 2. And we end up with 1.00. And now that our, everything left of the radix point is now 0, we're done. And we simply read downward. So we're going to end up with 0 0.01. And now all we do is combine the two. So we have 10101 and 0.01, and we just put them together. So we have 10101 from this side, point zero 0.01. So this number in base 2 is equal to our original number of 21.25 and base 10. So let's check that. So let's take 10101, one, put our radix point in, point zero 0.01, find our place values. So we'll start at 0. Remember, as we go right, we go down, and as we go left, we go up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2. And using radix notation, we're going to write it out. 1 times our base 2 to the 4th, that's this guy, plus 1 times.
times 2 to the second plus 1 times 2 to the negative 2. And we forgot this one, so I'm just going to write that in. 1 plus 2 to the 0. So we add that up, and we get 2 times 4, 8, 2, 4, 8, 16, plus 4, plus 1 over 2 squared, plus uh, 1. And 16, 20, so we end up with 21 plus 1 fourth, which is equal to 21.25 in base 10. So, just to break it down, we have, so we can take a number, well you should be able to do this now, you can take a number in base uh, 2, and you can convert it into its equivalent in base 10, using radix notation, or the radix formula. And you can also convert a number in base 10 into base 2 using the 2 divide by and the 2 multiply by method. And just to reiterate what the 2 divide by and 2 multiply and how you deal with a mixed number, say we have A point B, like 21.35, this is A, this is B, you split them up, you do a divide by 2, or 2 divide by, and on B, part B of the number, which would be point, which would be point three five. In this case, you do two multiply by, and then you combine your answers to end up with your base ten number.